At the Salvation Army, a shelter isn't just a place to rest. It's a chance to shed layers, let loose, and finally let it go. With your gift, a warm bed is just the beginning. It's the first night of a new day. When our homeless neighbors feel safe enough to close their eyes, they can see the way forward. Welcome back here on the Southeast Sports Network. College football coming up in just a few moments. It's a big time clash today. Just outside of the polls and looking in, the Bluefield Rams have traveled here to Waleska to take on the Reinhardt University Eagles. And the Eagles are number 21 in the nation, so they're looking to keep them outside of the top 25 and maybe even leverage themselves a little higher in the rankings. Before we go any further, we're going to meet the key players to watch in today's matchup between these two programs. Starting on the offensive side of the ball with a visiting team, Nathan Hurstich, the quarterback. He's the driving force behind the passing attack of the Bluefield Rams. His performance will be pivotal. His decision-making and accuracy will be under scrutiny against a tough Eagles defense. And on the other side of the ball, Logan Patron, he led the team with 11 tackles in their last game. He'll be crucial in stopping Reinhardt's potent rushing attack and ensuring that Eagles playmakers are contained. For Reinhardt University today on offense, we're going to keep an eye on the running back. His impressive yards per carry average and status as the top rusher in the Appalachian Athletic Conference means all eyes are on Colbert. His ability to break off big runs could set the tone for the Eagles this afternoon. And on defense, Vertez Shorter. His presence on the defensive line, highlighted by his 10 total tackles last time out, will be key to disrupting the Rams' offensive rhythm and applying pressure on Hurstich. Those are our players to watch. We've gone over keys to the game. There's nothing left to do but kick off the football. We're just a few seconds from the start of today's matchup. Thanks for being with us. When we come back from the break, we'll have kickoff on the Southeast Sports Network. Kids across America are going to school hungry. Millions of kids every day. But one simple thing can help change all of this for a hungry child in America. Good healthy food and the energy it brings. With help from caring people across America, No Kid Hungry is providing healthy meals and hope to hungry kids so they can build better futures. To learn more about ending child hunger in America, go to helpnokidhungry.org today.
the midfield strike! The great fundamental issue now before our people can be taken to There it goes out there. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us here on the campus of Reinhardt University inside of University Stadium in Alaska, Georgia, overlooking Ken White Field. The tension in the air here is palpable. The players, the coaches, the fans, they know this won't be an easy test for either program. The Bluefield Rams, 5-4, and four, have made the quick trip five hours over to take on the Eagles, who are number 21 in the nation at 7-2 and two overall. I'm Gabriel Shry. Thanks for being with us here on a cold afternoon in Alaska, Georgia, for college football on the Southeast Sports Network as part of our simulcast. Excited to have you with us and excited for these two great programs to go at it. This should be an excellent matchup today, and playoffs are on the line. Bluefield probably won't make it in without a victory. Now, they could slip in the back door with a couple of losses up in the polls, but obviously not a guarantee. A win today would put them right in the playoffs. Doesn't get any better than this in college football. A cold, rainy afternoon. Passing the ball, as I mentioned during the pregame show, is so crucial for both of these programs. Not being able to do that, it's going to be a tough test for the offense both ways. We'll see how they stand up to it and be right back after this quick break on the Southeast Sports Network. Kids across America are going to school hungry. Millions of kids every day. But one simple thing can help change all of this for a hungry child in America. Good healthy food and the energy it brings. With help from caring people across America, No Kid Hungry is providing healthy meals and hope to hungry kids so they can build better futures. To learn more about ending child hunger in America, go to helpnokidhungry.org today. Welcome back. It's college football on the Southeast Sports Network live from Waleska, Georgia, and kickoff is now. Big booming kick here, fielded back by Reinhardt University's Eagles. Oh, he's got a lot of room across the 40, trying to shake the defender as he crosses the midfield. Stripe and forced out near the 40. What a big return to start today's game, and he's all fired up. Deservedly so. Those are the kinds of plays that change games. During the pregame show, that's something that I touched on is Tyson Jordan returning the football and, and special teams in general could be a big factor today. We see it on the first play of the game, just 10 seconds into this. First and 10 for the offense of Reinhardt University. Reinhardt's offense has been one of the very best in the nation this year, seemingly doing no wrong. 
We'll see how they can handle the wet conditions today. Jock Colbert, the quarterback, leading the Appalachian Athletic Conference. Faking the give, check down to Lewis Morris, shakes the defender right on the 40, across the 30, runs a couple of moves and forced out over the 35, just shy of the 20, first and 10, Reinhardt. Hot start for the Eagles. Shimmying, shaking, finding his way up the turf very quickly. Busy on the tackle. That's a First, First and ten, Reinhardt. Lewis Morris, such a crucial piece offensively this year for the Eagles. He'll block on this play. There's the give to Colbert. He follows him right side between the guard and center, trying to shake one last defender, and he's down inside of the ten. First and goal, Reinhardt University. Well, before they score with the football, we'll take just a second and get acquainted with the offense of Reinhardt University. Led up front by the quarterback, Taylor Jackson, 1,400 pass yards, 14 touchdowns this season. Here's the give right up the middle to Colbert. And he forces his way down for a second and goal inside the five. Colbert's been so efficient this season. Another guy who could just do no wrong. Second and goal from the four. Morris is in as the running back. There's the give to Morris, left side following the guard and pushes his way down into the end zone. Touchdown, Reinhardt University Eagles. Reinhardt takes the lead just a minute and 40 seconds into this. That's a Renaissance Bank touchdown for the Reinhardt Eagles. What a hot start, a big play and a big carry. Lewis Morris has done so much offensively this season. That's his seventh total touchdown. His third rushing touchdown on the year. Now for the point after try. Snap and hold are good. PAT, this one sails up, away, and through. And so it's 7-0 Reinhardt University Eagles. We're going to take a break along with these two programs and be back with more college football in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. You're tuned into the Southeast Sports Network. Welcome back to Waleska, Georgia, and the campus of Reinhardt University. The Eagles, an early lead, a rushing touchdown by Lewis Morris, his seventh on the season. Number 21 is leading the Bluefield Rams now in AAC play, and they're pushing for a playoff spot this afternoon. We've got all the action here on SESN. Thank you for being with us. I'm Gabriel Shry. And the real battle today, I think, is with the weather for these two programs. Trying to keep the football dry, and, and both programs have been really efficient through the air. It's the number one way that Bluefield moves the football. It's pivotal to their offense. Reinhardt boots this, sailing far side. Return man. He's got a lane here, going to cut towards the sideline, and he's forced out of bounds just beyond the 20. And that's where their offense will take over on this drive. And before he gets a hold of the football, let's meet the offense and meet the quarterback for the Rams of Bluefield. Nathan Herstitch is the man, 2,700 pass yards, 27 touchdowns this season for the Rams. He's got a lot of help around him. Lamp will be with him in the backfield. Coleman Gilmore running backs. Ebron Monroe, Chandler all catching passes. First and ten. Here's the snap. A check down pass to the close side. Receiver shimmies and shakes and steps out right near the line to gain. Not quite enough to move the chains. Jules Gray with a catch and run. A junior from Anniston, Alabama. Played at Tarboro High School. He's had a big season. 45 catches, 550 yards. He scored a few touchdowns as well to go along with that. Second and medium, about four yards. Bluefield Rams quarterback feeling the pressure and the whistle right away. 
False start. Offense number 55. Five yard penalty. Second down. False start on the big man up front. He moves a bit too early. Senior from Vicksburg High School in Mississippi, Riley. Second and about eight. It'll be second and eight. Ball's back at the 22 yard block. Four options at receiver, trips left for Herstitch. Ropes this close side, and Brooks is there defensively. Unable to get the football to his intended target. He was looking for George Agi. Sophomore from Maryland. I'm not sure if he overshot him or if it was the coverage of Cameron Brooks, the senior from McDonough, that made that too difficult. Brooks, another guy who's had a big season. He's just done everything right for Reinhardt University. Now it's third and long. Eight yards needed to move the chains. Here's the snap. Whipped this over the middle. It's caught just shy of the 30. He's reaching down, and he only gets just beyond the 30. They're going to put him right on it. It's fourth and about a yard, and the Rams look like they're going to send on their special teams unit and punt this away. Bandy and Stubbs, the punters this season for the Bluefield Rams. Stubbs is on to punt this. He's from Hickory Ridge, Harrisburg, North Carolina, a junior. His long punt this season, 71 yards. Good punt from behind the 20. Gage Stevens fields this. He's had a big season returning the ball. From the 25, he's got room at the 35, across the 40, and takes a shot down low as he topples down. And that's where the Reinhardt Eagles will take over this drive, leading 7-0 in the first quarter. Clock today is just a bit behind the actual game clock in the stadium. It's 11-17 here. Our clock on the broadcast based off of the live stats on the website. So they'll lag by about a minute. When we get close to the end of quarters, I'll catch you up on the actual time. Quick flag on that. So that's a hold on Reinhardt's Eagles. Number 26 on the return team. They'll lose a couple of yards before they get this drive started. Now they'll take over with the football. First and ten, Reinhardt Eagles from just beyond their own 30-yard line. Taylor Jackson, the quarterback, wants to throw a laser over the middle. It's caught free at the 35-20. He's gone. Punch his ticket. Touchdown, Reinhardt Eagles. Just like that, they lead by two scores in Waleska, Georgia. What a big time catch and run. Not the first time we've seen that out of him this year. Jakari Clark, the sophomore from Rockmart, Georgia, his fourth receiving touchdown. A 69 yard house call. Now for the point after try to make it 14 0, just four minutes into this first quarter. Snap and hold are good. The PAT sails up, away, and through. And so it's 14-0 Reinhardt University. We'll take a break with these two programs and be back with more college football in just a moment on the Southeast Sports Network. Welcome back to Alaska, Georgia. 14-0 Reinhard Eagles, a 69-yard touchdown on their second possession of the game. 
That was big time. It's what you look for out of these guys. They've had such a great season. Shakari Clark, just a catch and run, took it to the house off of a quick slant by Taylor Jackson. Trouble on the far side. Here they come. And nice little return by the Rams of Bluefield. Slow to rise. It looks like we'll have medical staff check on him. Hopefully he's all right. I don't want to see anyone roughed up, hurting like that at any level. Great turnout today. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting the worst in every facet. I mean, I feel like a real pessimist after seeing how many people came out. We've already got a passing touchdown. I thought it'd be all ground and pound. It's miserable because of the weather. We don't care in North Georgia. Everybody's here. Bluefield Rams on offense, second time today. First drive didn't start great. Redshirt junior from St. Cloud, Florida, Nathan Herstich. 27 touchdowns this season. Here he is from the shotgun. Oh, he wants the rainbow ball far side, and it just sails on him. Just testing out the waters, looking for the junior, Nate Monroe on the far side. Transfer from Frostburg, originally a native of Frederick, Maryland. He's had a big year. Second and 10 now for the offense of Bluefield and the Rams. Gabriel Brooks depending on the play, second and 10. Bluefield's offense this season averaging 35 points per game. 312 yards per game through the year. Here's Herstich on the pass, and again incomplete. Again, his intended target, the junior Monroe. Dewey Lusk, head coach, leading things along the sideline. The Rams pass efficiency rating this season, 142. Now on the other side of the ball, the defense of the Eagles has held opposing teams to 130 yards per game passing the football. Third and 10 now, Herstitch in the shotgun. He's got five options at receiver. Everybody's out wide. Here's the snap, he wants to sling it. Oh, he's gonna throw the long arc, close side, in and out of the hands of his intended target. I thought he was gonna catch that for just a moment. Gage Chambers, the senior from Elizabethtown, Tennessee, just dropped the football. It would have been his 21st catch this season. And so now the Rams are showing that they're gonna punt the football away back to the Eagles of Reinhardt. They trail 14, nothing still in the early stages of this. Great start, great game. We appreciate you tuning in and being with us for college football on SESN. Here's the snap. Great delivery, beautiful strike towards the close sideline. Stevens is going to pull up on this and let it roll towards the sideline. This one is downed at the 39-yard line of the Eagles. So again, great field position for Reinhardt to start this drive. They scored a touchdown just moments ago, two yards away from where they'll start this drive. Offense of Reinhardt University, they're averaging 39 points per game, 215 pass yards per game. They're already at 69, 420 total yards. That offense has been so hot this season, they're going to lean on them again here. Jackson shouting out to his offense. He sees something he doesn't like with the defense, fakes the pass here and goes far side. This is caught and his receiver slips one defender, forced out of play right near the 45, first and 10, Reinhardt. Great little check down pass going far side. Looks like Samarcus Bernie who gets a hold of that and makes a little magic happen. The sophomore from Claxton, Georgia. Now it's first and 10 for Reinhardt. This time the football from the 46-yard line of the Rams. Four options out wide at receiver, two on either side. There's the handoff to Lewis Morris, who is hit pretty hard and goes down after a gain of about four. Makes it second and a long medium. 
Lewis Morris has become such a crucial part of this offense. He's actually best friends with the quarterback, Taylor Jackson. I'm sure the Reinhardt fans are sick of me telling Taylor Jackson's story every week on the broadcast, but, you know, it's kind of like Fox covering the Lions and talking about Matt Stafford being friends with Clayton Kershaw. You have to bring it up. Did you know that they were friends? No, they bring that up every time Matt Stafford's on Fox Sports. Second and about six, a long six, maybe seven. Jackson is shouting out to the offense from the shotgun, standing on the 49. Here's the ball, far side, and this one hits the turf, an immediate flag on the defensive back. I like the look there. He put that up high and let his receiver try to make a play for it, trying to get connected with Tremaine Demps. Demps was heavily defended on the back. And the flag on the corner, Stacy Wilson, a sophomore out of South Carolina. He's had a great year. So free yardage for Reinhardt University. They took over from their own 29-yard line on this drive. Now with 9.20 left to play in the first quarter, leading 14-0. They're driving with authority. Demps is lined up on the close sideline on this play. A couple of options on the far side as well for Jackson, who looks to the tailback. He gives it off. Wrapped up as he follows the right guard and tackle, and trapped there as he's taken down to the turf. Offensive line for Reinhardt University has been so crucial this season. Seems like they can't do anything wrong. Taking a moment to get acquainted with them, it's Zach Lyle, Xavier Walker, Cole Edge, Micah Moten, and Marcus Washington today getting the start up front and blocking. Right there, they had a little bit of trouble. Right defensive line of the Bluefield Rams trying to create space up front for Tyrus McKee, who was trapped. Football hits the turf, check down close side, caught and automatic. Here we go, lots of room as he flips into the air at the 15 and is forced out of play. First and 10, Reinhardt deep into the red zone and threatening to score with 8.25 left in the first quarter. J.B. Park on the reception, Taylor Jackson. And that's a page relocation first down. The ball is at the Ram, a 14-yard line. First down. Reinhardt's offense puts Polk into motion. Colbert takes the give, follows the right tackle, makes a cut, tripped up, and goes down. It's first and goal. Reinhardt University as the flag flies on the back end of the play. If you tap on the field. Reinhardt Eagles waiting for a first and goal. I'm not sure if they're sorting out what happened with the flag and maybe going to wave this off. No wave off the flag. First and goal, Reinhardt Eagles. Big play by Colbert. Great blocking up front by Moten Washington to create the space. Both guys from Georgia, Carrollton and Waynesboro High School, respectively. Carrollton's been so good this year. From the two-yard line, first and goal, Reinhardt Eagles. Lewis Morris is in at tailback. He takes the handoff, following the guard and center, and he's able to knife his way into the end zone. Another touchdown for Lewis Morris and Reinhardt University. Well, they've got to be all fired up about that. You love to see it. Lewis Morris padding his stats to some degree here. Morris has had such a big year as they've moved him around and tried to find the perfect spot for him. That's now his eighth touchdown on the season. The Eagles lead 20 to nothing, seven and a half left to play in this first quarter. Now for the point after try. Football's loose on the turf, picked up back near the 25. He wants to throw it, and Colin Fletcher stays on his feet initially and is now forced out of play. 
So that'll be our score as we take a break. We'll come back with more college football in a moment. It's 20 to nothing in Wallaska, Georgia, between the Eagles and the Rams. So a flag on the point after try. It was an illegal substitution. And the Eagles of Reinhardt are going to get another crack at it. Snap and hold are good. Alex Hardy boots this up away, and it finds its way through the uprights. 21-0, seven and a half to play in the first. We'll take another break and be back. More college football in a moment on SCSN. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Reinhardt University. The Eagles out in front on top of the Rams of Bluefield. 21-0 on SCSN. We appreciate you being with us this afternoon for college football. Thrilling matchup. Rams 5-4 and four on the season. Looking to back into the playoffs. Eagles of Reinhardt are looking to push them out. They're ranked number 21 in the United States. Return man on the far side. He had a convoy there and a little bit of space, but trapped up and tackled down right near the 25. First and 10, we'll see the Rams offense again. It's so hard to say whether it's more to do with the rain or this overwhelming Reinhardt University Eagles defense. You know, these defensive backs have been so good this season. Reinhardt seems to have done everything right defensively. From that standpoint, the defensive line and the pass rush has been great as well. So far, her stitch and the Rams unable to get traction. We'll see what they change on this drive. First and ten, Bluefield. Her stitch slings this close side, caught quickly, and nice little swing around gets them quite a bit of yardage, about seven, and it makes it second and short. Nice look, nice change there. Corterius Gilmore, the redshirt sophomore from Bedford, Virginia. Sixth catch of the season, puts him up to 30 total yards, receiving the football. He's also got 60 carries for almost 300 yards on the ground. Second down on a long three. Here's the Rams again, and this time he drops it. Tried that same look, and he heard footsteps. The defensive backs bringing pressure. There's so many stars on this team for Reinhardt defensively. Keon McGee is one of them. He was right there ready to make that hit a transfer from Kentucky Wesleyan. The juniors originally from Monroe, Georgia. This season alone, he has stuffed the stat sheet. 40 tackles, four interceptions, a fumble recovery, tackles for loss, some pass breakups. He's done everything right. It's third and four. Bluefield. Lofted close side and it sails incomplete. He threw it quickly because of the pass rush and his intended receiver wasn't looking for the ball. He just put it up there and was hoping he'd see the ball or turn around in time to make a play but unable to hook up with Jules Gray and now it's fourth down for Bluefield. So Reinhardt's offense has had the football three times and they've scored three touchdowns. We'll see what happens on their fourth possession of the game. Appalachian Athletic Conference football on the Southeast Sports Network coming to you live from Waleska, Georgia. 
and there's a timeout on the field. So as they take a timeout, we're going to take a timeout as well. Exciting action. Great college football. SESN, don't go anywhere. Welcome back to North Georgia, the campus of Reinhardt University here in Waleska. The Eagles lead 21-0 over the Rams of Bluefield in NAIA football action. They've scored on their first three possessions of the day consecutively. We'll see what happens here if they get a fourth possession. They took a timeout before Bluefield University could punt the ball. They saw something they didn't like. On fourth and four, punt is away. This one takes a Reinhardt friendly bounce and it'll be downed near the 46 yard line of the Eagles side of the field. They're gonna mark them at the 44 and this will be the best starting field position of the day for Reinhardt University. They're just 56 yards from the end zone with 638 to play in the first quarter. Reinhardt's offense this season has been electric. They've averaged nearly 39 points per game, which is unbelievable at any level of football. 420 yards per game as well to go along with that stat line. Currently, they're on pace to score over 60 points today. First and 10, Reinhardt Eagles. Two tailbacks here. Looks like they'll be running the football. Jackson. Trying to throw off the defense. It's a pass. Caught far side. And nice little sling and catch down to the 40-yard line. That'll move the chains on a 16-yard gain. First and 10, Reinhardt. And he's one of the touchdown scorers today for this season, including his 69-yard touchdown earlier. Well over 250 yards receiving with the ball now. Sophomore from Rockmart High School, Jakari Clark, with a little catch there. First and 10 again for the Eagles, this time from the 40 of the Rams. Low snap, he gets a hold of it. Faking the give, it's a keeper. He's got a lot of room and goes for a little jaunt. Down to the 32-yard line. Second and short for Reinhardt University. Get your jacket, get your hat, and grab your keys. We're going on a drive. 540 left in the first quarter. Jackson running back to the line fairly quickly here. He's got trips left this time. The closest receiver to us is somebody who's been a breakout player, number 82, Colin Fletcher. Tailback is alongside him as he runs through his cadence. Morris will block. Jackson wants to throw. A bomb to the far side, and it's caught. Touchdown, Reinhardt University. They extend their lead to 27 to nothing over the Bluefield Rams. 521 left in the first. Unbelievable. What a touchdown for Reinhardt. Big time stuff. They continue to just do everything right. That's Demps who got wide open, caught the football. Jaunts into the end zone for a 32-yard score and the 27-0 lead. And you can hear the offense of the Eagles celebrating down on the sideline as the point after try, snap and hold are good, and the PAT is up away and through. Just like that here in Waleska, Georgia, the score is now 28-0. Reinhardt Eagles, they're off to a pretty hot start. We'll be back with more college football in just a moment on the Southeast Sports Network.
Welcome back to Alaska, Georgia and University Stadium, Ken White Field. College football on the Southeast Sports Network. Thanks for being with us for the game today. I'm Gabriel Shry. Be, for, be sure to follow the Southeast Sports Network at SESN Sports. Follow me at Shry Guy. If you're watching from somewhere super interesting today, I will check my phone at the half. I want to know. Tweet at me. If you're if you're somewhere crazy like Alaska or Hawaii, I want to know. Kickoff sent away. Fielded back near the 10-yard line. Return man up near the 30 in a bit of trouble and forced out. And so the Rams of Bluefield will take over with good field position on this drive. So far, they've stalled out time and time again. Reinhardt has been flawless on offense. Four possessions, four touchdowns. 5-13 left to play in this first quarter. The defense of the Eagles just continues to do everything right. Reinhardt is certainly in playoff form. Bluefield's Rams are just looking to pump the brakes and get this game turned around. First and ten. Rams. Lots of options to throw to, and he's picked off on the far sideline. The defensive back steps out. Another turnover created by this guy. He's had a magical year. That's his third turnover this season. It's the senior from McDonough, Cameron Brooks. Brooks has been so good this year, he can't do anything wrong. And it bolsters Reinhardt's turnover margin of plus two. They're going to love to see that. Reinhardt's offense will come back to the field. They're already piling up the yardage and the scores. We still have five minutes left in the first quarter. It's 28-0. This is a good football program. Bluefield has had a great season. First and 10 Eagles. Lewis Morris is in motion. Trips left for Jackson. From right near the midfield stripe at the 47. Long pass far side. It's caught. Scored a touchdown on the last drive. Moves the chains right away on this drive with a 20-yard snag. That's Demps. Tremaine Demps. That was his first touchdown of the season on that last drive. And now he's up near 150 total yards receiving with two catches today. At the, the offense of Reinhardt University's Eagles, first and 10 from the 31 yard line of the Rams. One tailback is deep behind Jackson, it's Colbert. Fakes the give to Colbert, he wants to throw. Climbing the ladder and check down pass is caught wide open on the far side. He'll step out inside That's of the, the 10, team. first and goal, Eagles. Tremaine Demps, Unbelievable. Tremaine well, Demps is his third Europe catch of the down. afternoon. Yeah, entering today, he only had five. six catches for 84 yards. Now he's got 80 yards and three catches this afternoon. Four minutes still left to play in this first quarter. Reinhardt's defense, hur offense hurries back to the line. First and goal, Eagles taking their time this time. Faking the give, and the check down is incomplete. Defensive back got hands on that, couldn't hang on to the football. Clark was right there, and a little tussle for it. Tyrese Wolf is able to force the incompletion. Wolf, graduate student from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Another guy who's had a big season, nearly created a turnover right there. He's got three interceptions already. Demps checks back into the game. He's on the close side. And one receiver will line up near him on the close sideline. It's Tyson Jordan. Colbert is standing alongside the quarterback, Jackson. Jackson. This time he will give it off. Colbert makes two men miss in traffic and is tackled down from behind. Third and goal, Reinhardt Eagles. They lead by four touchdowns, 28-0 in Waleska. Jordan and Stevens in the game at receiver. Play call is in. Colbert and Jackson in the backfield. Threatening to score. Colbert has had such a good year carrying the football. Eight total touchdowns for him, including six on the ground. 
Colbert leading all rushers in the Appalachian Athletic Conference. He stands alongside Jackson. Man in motion. Jackson hands it off. He forces his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Reinhardt leads 34-0 in Waleska, Georgia. Unbelievable. Love the look on the end around. A little give there. Navari Solomon. Senior from Kennesaw, Georgia. That's his first rushing carry of the season. He'd caught the football already seven times for 83 yards. It's his first touchdown this year as well. 2.50 left to play in this first quarter. Here's the point after try. Snap and hold are good. This one is up, away, and through. 35-0, Reinhardt Eagles. We'll have more in just a moment on the Southeast Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the campus of Reinhardt University. Under three to play in this first quarter, and it's all Eagles so far this afternoon. Unbelievable performance on both sides of the ball for Reinhardt. Big pick on that last drive created another chance for them to work with the football offensively. They score the touchdown, and it's now 35-0. Kickoff fielded on the 12-yard line. Return man is trapped and in trouble at the 20. He goes down first and 10, Bluefield Wait, University nine, from their own 22. To the 22-yard line. Well, to say I can't believe it would be an understatement. Bluefield did so many things well throughout the course of the season. They're knocking on the door at number 26 of being ranked in the top 25 forcing their way into the playoffs. They really just needed to have a good day today and for somebody to lose in the top 25. And Reinhardt has just done everything right. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Rams have got four out wide. Football pops out. It's loose. Scramble for the ball. It looks like the Rams got it back and it'll be second and about 10. Dangerous moment right there. Bluefield hangs onto the football. This is a long way from being completely out of reach for Bluefield, but the Rams have to start changing the momentum of this game right now, trailing by 35. Still time left in this first quarter, though. Her stitch from the shotgun. He looks close side. He's in some danger. Slings it over the middle. It's caught. Lots of room. Across the 40. Makes a cut at the midfield. Stripe takes a shot and rolls down to the 45 of the Eagles. Nice little catch and run right there. That's exactly what they want to see out of Nate Monroe, the junior. Transfer from Frostburg State. Big catch and run. First flash of offensive brilliance of the afternoon for the Rams. Her stitch waiting for the play call being sent into him. This offense, so far today, their worst outing of the year. They've averaged very well through the air. Here's a pass, and it goes incomplete. Cameron Brooks there defensively on the coverage. Suriel Ebron from Charlotte, North Carolina, was the intended target. Would have been his ninth catch of the season. Instead, it goes incomplete. It's second and ten. Through the air this season, 312 pass yards per game for Bluefield. The Rams also averaging 83 yards per game rushing the ball. They've stacked up four receivers on the close side, one alone on the far side. Look at that formation. Her stitch nearly intercepted. I'm not sure if Monroe tripped or slid. He goes down on the hash marks and the defensive back diving for the ball. Just can't quite hang on to it there. It would have been the second interception of the day. Picked off, taken away from Herstitch. 
Herstitch only 12 interceptions this season, 27 passing touchdowns. Threw his 13th interception a few minutes ago. Slings it close side and it sails incomplete in the zip code of Cameron Brooks. He was looking for Zuriel Ebron. It's now fourth and 10 with 70 seconds left to play in this first quarter. Fourth and ten, they're going for it. Close side, this sails and goes incomplete. That's a turnover on downs. Cameron Brooks is heading on the play. Eagles regain possession of the ball. First and ten. Wow. Going for it on fourth and ten in the first quarter. I mean, you have to if you're trailing by five touchdowns. It's 35 nothing. One minute left to play still in this first quarter. And so we'll get another look at the offense of the Eagles of Reinhardt that's just been so good already today. Can't do anything wrong. First and 10, two options at receiver. He's gonna hand it off and sidestepping defenders as he slips away at the 35, tackled down at the 40. Nice carry. Clutch tackle, a touchdown saving tackle on the very back by the safety. Tyrus McKee on the carry. Looks like a pass play as he gets about 20 yards. Tackle made defensively, big time stuff there by the corner, Kadarius Finazzi. He actually went to the Howard School in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Not far from where we are here. That's about an hour and 10 minute drive. And so on first and 10, we've got a player slow to rise. They're gonna check on him. We're gonna take a break while they check on him and be back with more college football in just a moment on the Southeast Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. David Jackson makes the play. At the 27 yard line of Bluefield. And so that'll do it for our first quarter of play from the campus of Reinhardt University. Big time start for the Eagles in Waleska. We'll be back with more college football in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the campus of Reinhardt University. Frankie Reese, the head men's soccer coach, being honored for his service to our country, a decorated veteran. Special shout out to him being recognized as he stands down in the end zone. It's a tough start today for the Rams of Bluefield University. It's been all Eagles as we enter the second quarter. 35-0 Reinhardt. Thanks for being with us on the Southeast Sports Network, wherever you may be. I'm Gabriel Shry. We'll have all the action for you. First and 10, Jackson sends Fletcher into motion, fakes the give. He wants to throw in trouble, steps up in the pocket, lofted close side and nearly intercepted. This sails incomplete, and it's second and 10 from the 27 of the Rams. 
Looking for the running back right there, and it just went beyond the tips of his fingers. Second and 10 now from the 27 yard line of the Rams. There's the give to McKee. Lots of great blocks by the guard and tackle. He's streaking away towards the end zone. He dove. I don't think he got it. They're going to mark him down inside the five for a first and goal. Looked like he had it initially. And Big right by the tenth, Tyrus McKee. I can hear the coaching staff arguing with the officials about that. We've got a player slow to rise here. And we'll ask him, hopefully he's all right. These two teams are going to come to the sideline and take a quick break. Just a reminder to be sure to connect with us on social media. Free live sports broadcast, SCSN. Find us at SCSN Sports. You can follow the Eagles of Reinhardt University as well at RU Eagles. Thanks for being with us for all the action today. From Alaska, we appreciate you tuning in. First and goal, Reinhardt Eagles. Jackson shouting out to his offense. McKee is in the game still. Three targets at wide receiver, and Reinhardt has loved the look to the tight end in this situation this year. Man in motion. Jackson gives it off on the end around. It's Gage Stevens who's trying to knife his way through traffic. He's in. Touchdown, Reinhardt University. 41 0 Eagles. That's just incredible. Eagles just can't do anything wrong this afternoon. Less than a minute into the second quarter, now 41-0 Reinhardt University on the Southeast Sports Network. Hardy is on the turf for the point after try. Snap and hold are good. This one is up away and through. 42-0. Reinhardt Eagles will take a break and be back with more college football. nothing Eagles of Reinhardt less than a minute into our second quarter in Waleska, Georgia. College football, we've got it all here on the Southeast Sports Network. I'm Gabriel Shry. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. Cold, wet, rainy. I thought it would maybe affect the attendance today. I thought these teams might pass the ball less. They just seem to be passing it more. This one picked up. Return man is escaping across the 20. Tiptoeing down near the 25, he'll step out. Nice return for the Rams. We'll see if they can capitalize on this next possession. They're trailing big. Six touchdowns. We're still in the first half. This is not the story of today's game at all that I expected. You know, getting ready for the game, I'm like, what a great game to end the year with for these two programs. How fun is this? Bluefield trying to fight their way, knife their way, if you will, into the playoffs, back in. Reinhardt, a statement game here in Waleska. Hurstich in the shotgun. 
Looking to the far side, he's in danger, nearly sacked, stays on his feet somehow. Running close side, it's a keeper across the 30 and evades the big hit as he's rolled into the sideline by the defensive lineman. Big play by the big guy up front, gets into the backfield and bringing the heat. Nolan Marshall, a freshman from Lilburn, George, out of Parkview High School. He's got a share in a sack this season, some tackles for loss, and he gets another tackle right there as Herstitch is unable to escape him. Herstitch does get nice yardage, and it makes second down a lot more manageable. A timeout down on the field. Thirteen thirty-four left to play in this first half from Waleska and an exciting game. Well, if you've got nothing going on later today, be sure to stay with us for more Reinhardt University collegiate action and AIA sports on SESN. We'll have the men's basketball game as well. That's going to be fun trying to get over there and set up in time for the 5 p.m. tip-off. Second and medium. Rams, four out wide. Trips right, one receiver, one target on the close side is Ebron. Herstitch, pocket collapses, checked down over the middle, caught Monroe. Nice move, nice spin. He gets down to their own 45-yard line, first and 10, Bluefield. Great movement of the chains, great play design right there. And Herstitch needed a lot of time on that play. You're not going to get that every single time, but a great performance by the offensive line on that one. Termaine Baker... Anfeen Murray, C.J. Price, Jahari Riley, and Eli Morgan create just enough time for him to get that pass away. On first and ten, same formation. This time he hucks it far side, a battle for the ball, and it pops out. That was a toss-up. I thought he was going to hook up with him initially. Looking for Jules Gray. There defensively, the defensive back is Keon McGee. Don't see Keon McGee roving deep like that a lot and breaking up passes. Really a, more of a linebacker. He's a hybrid player. He does both and very well, I might add. Four again on second and ten. This time the long pass close side, and it sails incomplete. Covered by Brooks. He was looking for Ebron. And if he had that ball on the money, Ebron would have went to the house. 42-0, Reinhardt Eagles. It's third and 10. From their own 45-yard line. Bluefield Rams. Five targets at receiver. Herstitch is alone in the backfield. Herstitch looking close side and scrambling. Here comes the heat. Trying to escape the defensive line and taken down by the senior. He's got a cool backstory. An immigrant from West Africa. And the fans are fired up for him as he gets the sack. Now it's fourth and long for the Rams of Bluefield. They send on their punt unit. Gage Stevens back to field the punt. This one topples, rolls, and tumbles over the sideline. On the far side, it'll be down at the 24 of Reinhardt University. Just under 12 to play in the second quarter. 42-0. Eagles are going to take over with the football. <laughs> Reinhardt's offense this season. Averaging 418 yards per game, 214 pass, 204 rush, 38 points per game. They're already in excess of that by four. It's 42 nothing. First and 10 Eagles. Jackson shouting out to the offense. Morris is in motion. 
Takes the snap. Here's the handoff to Colbert. Colbert. Oh, he's cutting it up and taken down as he crosses the 40. Good tackle, but not before he gets 18 yards. Wilson able to drag him down on the very back end and prevent anything longer from coming together for the Eagles. First and 10 now from the 42-yard line of their own side of the field. Leading by six touchdowns in this first half still. Tackle made by Stacey Wilson, Stevens motions towards the line of scrimmage. Jackson wants to throw. He's in trouble, escapes the defender initially, and now sacked by a tandem of Rams in the backfield. I really think the guy who blew that up and got in there first, well, I thought I knew who it was, but maybe not. Back to the 33-yard line. Flurry of defenders get to the quarterback, and not much he could do. It was Robinson, the defensive end, who got in there. Quincy Robinson, the senior from Wilmington, North Carolina. Big part in blowing that up. Two defenders reached him initially, and then a swarm of guys. Four took him down. Second and long, it's a screen pass, and it sails incomplete on Jackson. And the Eagles' offense, third and long. Reinhardt Eagles, 10 minutes left to play in this second quarter. We'll see what they dial up in this situation. Wants to throw it, and this is intercepted. Easily picked by the defender. He's got a lot of room across the 30. Forced out inside of the red zone. Great read right there and a great play to create the turnover. Roving back, Elijah Padgett, the sophomore from Princeton and West Virginia. Gets a hold of the ball. That's a big-time play right there. It's his fourth interception of the season. Adds to a great stat line for him. He's been in on everything. 50 tackles, tackles for loss. He's been a great player this year. The Rams take over with the football, and they're threatening to score now inside of the red zone for the first time today. Trailing by 42 with 10 minutes left in this first half. First and 10. Four out wide. Check down to the running back. And the safety valve tries to make the defender miss as he throws the stiff arm. Didn't go out of play. Tyler Coleman, the catch and run. Redshirt freshman from Naples, Florida. Transferred from Northwest Missouri State. It's his third catch of the season. 44th time he's touched the football. Second and medium. Bluefield Rams. Her stitch. Tosses this far side towards the edge of the end zone. He catches it. Touchdown, Bluefield Rams. They get one back. Nine twenty-five left to play in this first half. Big time touchdown. They needed that momentum swing. Now for the point after try. Snap is good, hold is good. This one is up, away, and through. 42-7. Rams get a touchdown back. We'll take a break and be back with more college football in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the campus of Reinhardt University. 
The Rams of Bluefield get a touchdown back. Nate Monroe catching the score from the quarterback, Nathan Hersich, who threw his 28th score this year. Monroe, that's his fifth receiving touchdown for the Rams. Cuts into the big 42-0 lead of Reinhardt, makes it 42-7, as the Rams will now kick this back to the Eagles. This one booted a line drive up the turf. Fielded on the one yard line. Return man casually across the 15. Takes off at the 20. Gets trapped and goes down. First and 10, Reinhardt. They'll take over just beyond their own 20 yard line. Tackle, the Taylor Jackson shouting out to the offense. Jackson calls a receiver into motion. The check down close side sails on him and falls incomplete. Diving for the ball, Tyrese Wolf, the graduate student from Vicksburg, looking for the interception. Last time out, Jackson was picked off. Jackson threw his seventh interception this season. Definitely one of the best college comebacks I've ever seen. He has an unbelievable story. Record-breaking quarterback in high school. Fantastic at South Effingham in Guyton, Georgia. Threw for nearly 2,000 yards as a senior, racked up the touchdowns, went to Brevard, a Division III school, and tore a ligament in his knee right away. Played in a few games. He was racking up the wins and the yardage, but just could not get through those nagging knee injuries. And it's been three years since he was able to start for a team. This is his first year starting since he tore his knee up just battling knee injury after knee injury. And he's been the guy this year for Reinhardt University as they've rolled to this impressive 7-2 and record and number 21 in the country. Love to see a comeback story like that. Best friends with number three utility man, Lewis Morris. Third down and about eight. Jackson didn't like something, shouting out to that offensive line. Rams showing a lot of pressure. They don't bring anybody. Here's the handoff to the far side following the left tackle. And Colbert goes down pretty quickly after a gain of two and a half, maybe three. Makes it fourth down for Reinhardt, and they're going to send on their punt unit. Down. Less than eight minutes to play in this first half. 42-7 Reinhardt. They're punting the football back to the Rams of Bluefield. Fletcher needs to be out there for this punt. Six seconds until they need to get the snap off and a timeout on the field. They'll take a timeout. We're going to take a timeout as well. College football on the Southeast Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Alaska, Georgia. Here's the punt for Reinhardt. Hardy picks this up off the turf. 
big high punt, takes a Reinhardt friendly bounce in his field, and at the 42, return man slides down at the 48. Great starting field position for the Rams. We'll see what they can do with it on this drive. 7.20 left to play in this first half. 42-7, Reinhardt lead over the Rams. Coming up on the half quickly between these two. Great college football action. Herstich. He's got five options at receiver, four on the close side. Lots of pressure here. He just lofts this and it's caught inside the red zone down to the 10. First and goal, Bluefield. Gage Chambers, the senior from Tennessee. His 21st catch this season puts him at 360 receiving yards. What a snag. Everything about that was impressive. He ran a great route, able to cook the defensive back, get himself just enough room. Followed up by a beautiful pass from Herstich, and Chambers catches that over the shoulder. Now for the follow-up, and Ebron going to get the flag. There's a tent in the stands because of the rain, so I'm not sure if you can see that entirely. Zuriel Ebron heavily defended and waved his arm in the air to kind of show he was being boxed out too aggressively. So there's the call from the official. It's an automatic first down, first and goal. Football just feet from the end zone for Bluefield. They trail 42-7, looking to dig into that big lead of Reinhardt just a bit more. 6.40 left in the second quarter. Rams back to the line, four out wide. There is a tailback in the game. It's Tyler Coleman. Herstich is in trouble. Takes off with the ball. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bluefield Rams. Nathan Herstich gets another one back for Bluefield. That's a nice play right there. And he made the perfect decision under pressure. Waited until the last moment to take off. That's his fifth rushing touchdown. What a season he's had. Goes along with nearly 30 passing touchdowns this year. Now for the point after try. Snap and hold are good. This one is up away and through. 42-14, Reinhardt out in front. We'll take a break and be back with more college football. Don't go anywhere. Reinhardt just can't do anything wrong. They did just allow a touchdown. Herstich carried that into the end zone. Cut into that big lead of the Eagles just a little bit more. 14 points today for the Rams. They trail 42-14. 6.41 left in this first half. Reinhardt Eagles will get the football back. The numbers of today's game are just unbelievable. Big kick, sailing, and it's through the end zone for the touchback. Mathematically today, Reinhardt unstoppable. 19 first downs to the six of Bluefield. Third down efficiency, Bluefield has not converted on five third down chances. Reinhardt is one of three. Reinhardt and Bluefield run about the same amount of offensive plays. Total yards, we're still in the first half. Keep that in mind, 330 yards of offense for Reinhardt. Those are Madden numbers, 118 for the Rams. First and 10, Reinhardt Eagles. Jackson shouting out to the offense, two tailbacks alongside him. 
Hand off to the close side, right tackle, digging out a lot of room for Tyrus McKee across the 40 and tripped up just shy of the midfield stripe. That's a big time tackle and they needed that help on the back. Big run by Tyrus McKee. Kadarius Finazzi makes a tackle, graduate student from Chattanooga, Tennessee out of Howard. 20 tackles this season. He's had great stats all year long. Been in all kinds of different plays. A pick, forced fumble, broken up passes. First and 10 for the Reinhardt University offense. Fletcher motions across from their own 49. Colbert is tackled for a loss of a yard. Back to the 48-yard line, second and long Eagles. Less than six minutes to play in this first half. Four out wide, trips left, one man alone on the close side, it's Demps. Quarterback hands this off, a lot of room for Lewis Morris who stumbles and is flipped. Over the tackle of Finazzi, he goes down just shy of the line to gain and it makes it third and short for the Eagles. Ball is at the Ram Lewis Morris with a nice carry. He stays in at the running back spot. Four options at receiver. One man isolated close side. It's Demps. Jackson running through his cadence. Defense is showing that they're going to bring the house. They do. Here's the handoff close side to Morris, who finesses his way out of the tackle of the first defender. He's dragged down, but he moves the chains on a five-yard carry. So first and 10 for the Reinhardt Eagles down to the 37 yard line of the Bluefield Rams. Four and a half minutes left to play in this first half. Reinhardt leading 42-14. Same formation, the only difference is Jackson and Morris flip sides. Jackson takes the snap. He wants to throw on first and 10. Pressure is coming from behind him. Lofted far side. Caught along the sideline and tackled down inside of the red zone. First and 10, Reinhardt. Great play by Colin Fletcher. Four minutes left in this first half. Eagles knocking on the door, threatening in the red zone. Moving personnel around, Jordan and Demps, the close receivers. Morris and Jackson still in the backfield together. Jackson, pressure coming quickly, throws this right away, and it's caught. Touchdown, Reinhardt University. Unbelievable score. They extend their lead back to 48 to 14. Andrew Collins on the reception for Taylor Jackson for the touchdown. Junior from Appling, Georgia with a catch. Cedric Colors turned around just in time to see that ball coming his way. Put it right in his pocket. Here's the point after try. Snap and hold are good. This one is up, away, and through. 49-14, Reinhardt Eagles. They're just about on pace to score 100 points. They've got time to make it a 50-burger in the first half. 3.38 left in the second quarter. We'll take a break and be back on SESN. Welcome back to the campus of Reinhardt University. We're above Ken White Field in Waleska, Georgia. Eagles of Reinhardt out in front, big time lead for them. Over the Rams of Bluefield, 338 left in this first half. Thanks for being with us on SESN. Gabriel Shry here with the call and all the action. 
return man going to the far side. Has a little bit of room and traffic just forces him to step out. Gets it up near the 25 and steps out. Not sure where they're going to mark him at. Looks like it might be closer to the 30 than I originally thought. Bluefield Rams will take over with a football. At their own 27-yard line. Blue Rams of Bluefield University at the 27. Great touchdown catch on that last drive. Colors found himself open right along the very edge of the end zone. Second catch this season, his first touchdown. Check down pass close side, and the receiver just slips one tackle before stepping out. He'll get eight yards. Great play by the junior from Alabama, Jaguls Gray. Offenses are out of control on this cold and rainy afternoon. If the Rams offense starts firing on all cylinders, we're really going to run up the score here. Here we go, Herstitch is gonna keep it. Comes close side, takes a shot right on his shoulder as he goes out of play. That'll move the chains, it's a three yard gain they needed to. First and 10 Rams down to the 39 yard line. Clock running quickly in this first half. Rams take their time getting back to the line. Herstitch wants to check down, and he will. Receiver trying to cut it up a little bit and take him down quickly. Christian Mack, the redshirt freshman from South Boston, Virginia, gets the ball. Not much to do for him. That's his first catch this season. Second and ten now for the Rams of Bluefield, right back at the original line of scrimmage. Five options at receiver for the quarterback, Herstitch. Wants to throw. He's in some danger. Lofts this over the middle. Tipped and goes incomplete. Three defensive backs there, and the flag flies. Not sure what the flag will be for. Looked like two Reinhardt defensive backs collided. The call is on Kellen Neal, the senior. A little bit of free yardage for the Rams who are trying to cut back into that lead again, trailing 49-14. 1.40 left to play in this first half. Let's go, To the Rams, 46 yard line, first and 10. Rams man from the shotgun, ropes this far side, caught mid yardage gain, he gets about five. Nice pass to Nathan Monroe by Herstitch. He zipped it right in there, Monroe goes down safely for a good gain. That puts the football down on the 41 yard line of the Eagles. Getting back to the line, hustling a little bit. Five options at receiver, four of them are on the close side. Monroe alone on the far side. Rainbow ball for Monroe who sells out to catch it and this goes incomplete. No flag, it's third and medium now. Cameron Brooks there defensively and him and Monroe going at it today. They are really competing with one another. 74 seconds left to play in this first half. Just so you know, our, our score clock, our game clock from our score bug on the broadcast is based off of the stats on the website. So they're lagging behind by a few seconds. It's actually 114 showing on the clock here in Waleska. And a timeout by Reinhardt University. Right before they can run this third medium play, we're going to take a timeout as well. College football on SESN. Don't go anywhere.
Kids across America are going to school hungry. Millions of kids. Welcome back to Ken Whitefield University Stadium in Waleska, Georgia. College football on the Southeast Sports Network. I'm Gabriel Shry. Thanks so much for being with us this afternoon. 49-14, Reinhardt University Eagles, a commanding lead. Here's the snap. Herstich is in trouble. Octolso got him, and he's dropped by a flurry of Eagle defenders for the sack. Octolso is having a big afternoon. Immigrant from West Africa, played at Gainesville High School before coming to Reinhardt University. Definitely a fan favorite. Now it's fourth down, and the Rams are going to go for it. 40 seconds left in this first half. Herstich is in danger. Pass sales incomplete. Turnover on downs. Reinhardt takes over with the football. 36 seconds left to play in this first half. Well, you got to go for it. You're trailing so big with just two quarters left to play after this first half. You might as well try and get something going. Punch in one more touchdown and cut into that big lead of the Eagles. That's the right call, and Herstich did all the right things, but the defensive line just crashing in on that offensive line. Didn't have quite enough time. Football is swatted. It sails incomplete. First and 10, Reinhardt. They can definitely just take a knee here and go to the half. We'll see what they do. First and 10 from their own 42-yard line. Jackson in the shotgun. Long ball to the close side, caught by Fletcher. He's dicing it up, down across the midfield stripe at the 47. Reinhardt running the hurry up. 25 seconds on the clock. First and 10 just beyond the midfield stripe. Ball is set, clock runs, 20 seconds. Jackson wants to throw, lofted far side, caught near the sideline, he dropped it. Incomplete, clock stops, second and 10, 15 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Four options at receiver, tailback is Morris. He's talking to Jackson, they see something they don't like with the linebackers. Jackson shouts out to the offensive line. Now with 15 seconds left in this first half. Pressure is coming, he's in danger, rolling with the ball, a shovel pass to Jordan, it goes incomplete, third and 10. 8.6 seconds showing on the clock. Third down, Reinhardt. They've got time to run one, maybe two more plays. They lead 49-14 from the 47-yard line. Tremaine Demps, the lone receiver on the close side. Here's the handoff. Close side of the field, he escapes the big hit and goes down, and that'll do it for our first half of play in Wallaska, Georgia. And what a half it was for the Eagles of Reinhardt University. It was all Eagles, all Reinhardt as we go to the half. 49-14 is the lead RU has over Bluefield. We'll be back with more action on the Southeast Sports Network in just a moment. Don't go anywhere.
At the Salvation Army, a meal isn't just a meal. It's fuel for imagination, determination, and dreams. It's energy to be role models, change makers, and to just be kids. With your gift, a full meal means a full heart, a full night's sleep, and a future full of possibilities. At the Salvation Army, a shelter isn't just a place to rest. It's a chance to shed layers, let loose, and finally let it go. With your gift, a warm bed is just the beginning. It's the first night of a new day. When our homeless neighbors feel safe enough to close their eyes, they can see the way forward. Kids across America are going to school hungry, millions of kids every day. But one simple thing can help change all of this for a hungry child in America. Good healthy food and the energy it brings. With help from caring people across America, No Kid Hungry is providing healthy meals and hope to hungry kids so they can build better futures. To learn more about ending child hunger in America, go to helpnokidhungry.org today.
Kids across America are going to school hungry, millions of kids every day. But one simple thing can help change all of this for a hungry child in America. Good healthy food and the energy it brings. With help from caring people across America, No Kid Hungry is providing healthy meals and hope to hungry kids so they can build better futures. To learn more about ending child hunger in America, go to helpnokidhungry.org today. At the Salvation Army, a meal isn't just a meal. It's fuel for imagination, determination, and dreams. It's energy to be role models, change makers, and to just be kids. With your gift, a full meal means a full heart, a full night's sleep, and a future full of possibilities.
At the Salvation Army, a shelter isn't just a place to rest. It's a chance to shed layers, let loose, and finally let it go. With your gift, a warm bed is just the beginning. It's the first night of a new day. When our homeless neighbors feel safe enough to close their eyes, they can see the way forward. Welcome back to Waleska, Georgia. At the half, Reinhardt Eagles out in front and leading big. It's 49-14 on the Southeast Sports Network. We're going to have the second half in just a few moments in our great matchup here today between these two programs. I'm Gabriel Shry. I appreciate you being with us for all the action and tuning in wherever you may be. Be sure to follow us on social media at SCSN Sports. Follow along for today's game. And what a great matchup it is. We're going to have a second game on the campus of Reinhardt today as well. Over in the Brown Athletic Center. Men's basketball, Tennessee Wesleyan making the trip down from Athens to take on the Eagles. That'll be a good one. We'll have a lot of fun with that as well. And we're just at the halftime break of our first game where it's 49-14 Reinhardt Bluefield. Definitely going to try and capitalize on their whiteboard time come back with a new strategy for quarters three and four here today against the Eagles and we'll see what they can pull out of the bag of tricks. Taking a look around the country, Point University leading St. Andrews as they start the third quarter 7-0. That's a close one. St. Thomas is leading Thomas 49-0. Kaiser leads Florida Memorial 13-0. St. Francis out in front against Taylor 21-3. Concordia of Michigan leading Indiana Wesleyan, 14-0. Lawrence Tech up big over Madonna and Detroit, 35-0. Dickinson State leads Dakota State, 21-0. Olivet Nazarene leading 17-7 over Ambrose. Northwestern out in front, 9-3 against Jamestown of North Dakota. Union leads Kentucky Christian, 7-0. They're just getting started there. Siena Heights and Marion going at it later today. That'll be a good one. Warner and Weber International still scoreless. They're just getting started in the first quarter and still scoreless between Georgetown and Campbellsville up in Kentucky. Still looking around the country. Kansas is trailing to Texas Tech 10-0. Kansas ranked number 19. Kentucky trailing to Alabama 28-7 at the half. Michigan leading Penn State 14-9 and without Jim Harbaugh. Tulane leads Tulsa 14-10. Old Dominion trails to Liberty 14-0. That's our look at scores from around the nation. We'll take another break and be back with our second half of play in just a moment on the Southeast Sports Network. Don't go anywhere.
At the Salvation Army, a meal isn't just a meal. It's fuel for imagination, determination, and dreams. It's energy to be role models, change makers, and to just be kids. With your gift, a full meal means a full heart, a full night's sleep, and a future full of possibilities. At the Salvation Army, a shelter isn't just a place to rest. It's a chance to shed layers, let loose, and finally let it go. With your gift, a warm bed is just the beginning. It's the first night of a new day. When our homeless neighbors feel safe enough to close their eyes, they can see the way forward. Welcome back to Waleska, Georgia, above Ken Whitefield. College football on the Southeast Sports Network. We've got all the action. Great matchup today between the Eagles of Reinhardt, Rams of Bluefield, and all Reinhardt so far. They're ranked number 21 in the nation. The Rams and the Poles are just outside of the top 25 at 26, and the Eagles are looking to push them away from making the playoffs. Return, man. Nice little jaunt as he gets across the 40. And good starting field position for Bluefield. First and ten, Bluefield rams their offense. Not fantastic in that first half, but they started to fire on a few more cylinders as we closed in on the halftime break. Taking a look at their net yardage passing, 136 yards. Didn't really get any yardage on the ground. Good for 134 total yards. That's compared to 400 by the offense of Reinhardt. Second and 10 now for the offense of Bluefield. Play call is in. 136 yards isn't terrible by Bluefield. They're averaging 390 per game. Here's the snap. Herstitch. No pressure. And this one is swatted and nearly picked. The big guy. Hervé Tulso from Gainesville. Talked a little bit about his story in the first half. 
And his high school football coach is actually here and had a minute to chat with him during the halftime break. Ektalso, originally from West Africa, lived in France for a while before immigrating to America. And when he started playing for the Red Elephants in Gainesville, Georgia, he didn't know how to put on a football helmet or pads. They had to teach him that to get him started. And he has an incredible motor, as you can see right there with that big play. Third and ten for Herstich. Lofts it left side, and it sails incomplete. Fourth and ten now for the Rams of Bluefield. 30 seconds off the clock. Fourth and ten and a bit of a decision to make now for Bluefield. Looks like they might send on their special teams unit. Rams punter standing back near the 25-yard line. Snap is good. This sent away close side. And this sails over the sideline. So Reinhardt will take over deep in their own territory on their own 15. It'll be interesting to see what personnel come onto the turf was such a big lead. Starting lineup back onto the field, led out there by Taylor Jackson. McKee Demps along with him, Gage Stevens on the far sideline. First and 10, Reinhardt, they lead 49-14, 30 seconds into this second half. Jackson. Hands it off. Oh, he's got a lane and trying to cut around the safety. Couldn't get a block as he rolls down at the 37-yard line. Reinhardt, huge gain right away. 25 yards, first and 10 for Tyrus McKee and the Eagles of Reinhardt. McKee had a big first half. First and 10, Reinhardt. That's his fifth carry on the day. Puts him up near 80 yards rushing with the ball. Taylor Jackson, 12 for 19, 300 yards. Distributes this close sign. Caught by Fletcher right on the midfield stripe, and he tries to hurdle the defender as he goes out on the 45. First and 10 again for the Eagles. Colin Fletcher, that's his second catch of the day. Puts him at 50 yards receiving. Colin Fletcher on reception Page relocation first down at the Ram 43 line. Similar formation on first and ten. This time Gage Stevens is pulled into motion. He'll block as an up back. Jackson hands it off and McKee follows the center and guard. He'll get maybe two yards. Second and long now for Reinhardt. Two minutes off the clock already in this third quarter. 49-14, Eagle lead. They're nursing it, looking to extend it. McKee standing behind the quarterback. Taylor Jackson who's shouting out to the offensive line. Jackson doesn't like something he saw on that far side. Jackson. The snap was a bit low. He wrangles it. Long ball to the far side. Caught. He's got room on the 25. Makes a man miss at the 20 and he's down on the horse collar. First and goal. Reinhardt and there's a flag to go along with it. We'll see what the play call is here. Or rather the flag. Play, first and they wave it off. First and goal, Reinhardt Eagles. First and goal, first and Two and a half minutes gone in this third quarter. 49-14, Reinhardt taking their time, picking their way up the turf. And now Jackson under center. Jackson looks both ways, running through his cadence. 
There's the handoff to Lewis Morris, and Morris has three touchdowns this afternoon. What a performance. 55-14 Reinhardt Eagles. Here's another look back. We'll sneak one at that touchdown by Morris as quickly as we can. Jackson took the snap, handed it off, and Morris had a lot of room. Great blocking up front. Able to sneak his way into the end zone. Now for the point after try. Hold is good. This one is up, away, and through. They extend their lead again. We'll take a break. More college football in a moment on SCSN. Welcome back to Aleska, Georgia. College football on the Southeast Sports Network. 56-14, Reinhardt out in front. Big time lead, and they just keep extending it. We're only three minutes into the second half. Lewis Morris having a big day. His stat line is looking great. Seven carries, 39 yards, three touchdowns on the ground. Eagles of Reinhardt will now kick the football back to the Rams. Big kick, long delivery, fielded back inside of the five-yard line. Return man across the 15, takes a shot on the 20 and goes down. First and 10, Bluefield will take over with the ball. They'll have a chance to respond to that touchdown on the ground by Morris. Again on the tackle, versus 10, Bluefield, at the 24-yard line, first and 10. Tailback alongside Hurstitch, he hands it off and takes a shot. Orlando Gandy Jr. hits him up high and he gets tackled from behind by Actalso. Nice carry there by Corterius Gilmore. 62nd carry this season. Gilmore's a redshirt sophomore from Bedford, Virginia. Football goes from the 24-yard line down to the 26-yard line. It's second and media. Hurstitch. Pocket stays strong. He has a lot of time. Check down pass. Close side is caught. Looks like he was in play. That makes it third down and two now for the Rams. Nice catch there by Jules Gray coming back to the football. Junior from Aniston. He's having a big day. He's had a big year for the Rams. Four minutes off the clock in this third quarter. The Rams have reached their first third down of this drive. Hurstitch takes the snap, and the pocket is collapsing as the whistle sounds. That offensive line struggling to contain defensive front of the Reinhardt Eagles. That's a five-yard penalty. They'll move him back. And a quick overview of who makes up that offensive line, who makes up the defensive front for the Eagles up front today. It's Baker, Murray, Price, Riley, Morgan blocking. For the Rams, defensively, it's Wanham, Cannon, Shorter, Octalso. And the Eagles make a lot of changes, a lot of substitutions. They have a lot of different bodies they can plug in and guys who can play really well defensively. So now instead of third and short, it's third and seven. Hurstitch fires this far side and it sails on him. So now fourth down and seven, and the Rams are likely to punt this back to the Eagles. For the Eagles. 
Herstich entering today, 190 for 341. He completed 56% of his passes through the regular season. Nearly 2,800 passing yards, 27 touchdowns. This afternoon, 12 for 31, less than 50%, 141 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Three and a half gone in this third quarter. Punt is away. Big high bounce, return man fields it at the 35, slips one and he's tackled as he crosses the 40. First and 10 Eagles will take over at the 42 yard line of their own side of the field. Eagles of Reinhardt just keep it rolling. They'll come back offensively to the field. 506 total yards of offense and we still have 25 minutes of game time left to play. Quarterback, David Craig. Taylor Jackson's going to finish his day with that stat line, it looks like, as Stephen Craig is in the shotgun. He hands it off, tail back, right up the gut, and he'll get a gain of about four yards as he pinballs his way up in there. Keeps his legs churning. We've got a player slow to rise. Hopefully he's all right. They're going to take a moment and check on him, and while they do, we'll take a break and be back with more college football in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Reinhardt University. Second down and long for the Eagles. Here's the snap. Colbert takes the handoff. Far side. Oh, he bounced off of a defender and moved the chains. Seven yard gain. First and 10 down to the 46 yard line. At the Ram 46. That's a great play right there by Jack Colbert. Stephen Craig looking for the play call from the sideline. In the shotgun, he's going to hand it off again. This time following the left guard and center, nowhere to go. He'll be stomped on forward progress. On the guard, the 35, John Colbert. John Colbert's had a great year leading the conference in rushing. Appalachian Athletic Conference's guy on the ground. And this afternoon, he's had a big day as well. That's his 11th carry. He'll stay right at 70 yards, so he was averaging 10 yards per carry. Yet to score today. Second and 10, eight and a half left to play in this third quarter. Very similar formation on second down. This time he's going to go outside the right tackle, runs the spin move and tackle down after a gain of five, third and five for Reinhardt. Football down to the 42-yard line of the Rams. Play call coming into Stephen Craig. We've seen a lot of Stephen Craig this year. He got some play time early on. Entering today's matchup, 26 for 64, passing the ball, 417 yards, two touchdowns. 16 carries, 50 yards. Third down now for Reinhardt. Man in motion, and he hands it off on the end around. That'll move the chains. First and 10 Eagles. Right to the line to gain at the 36. Norris Alvin on the right. That is a paid relocation first down to the 36. Yard nice line. little carry there by Solomon, the senior from Kennesaw, Georgia. Very local. A lot of these guys on this roster are local guys. Former high school stars. A couple of the guys that play for Bluefield are from this area. Kadarius Finazzi on defense is from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Played at the Howard School. Hustling Tigers. Flags fly. We've got laundry on the field. This is on the big guy up front. They're going to march him back five yards, and they'll try again. 
First and 15 now for Reinhardt with seven minutes left in the third quarter, and the clock continues to run. 56-14. Eagles lead. They'll break 60 with one more touchdown. Here's the handoff to Colbert, and he tries to bounce his way to the close side. He's wrapped up as soon as he gets between the offensive linemen. Nice tackle there as he swarmed. Kashawn Ridgel, the nose out of Wesley Chapel, Florida, makes the tackle. He's a fifth-year senior out of Wiregrass Ranch. Looks like Colbert got back to the line, so he won't get the tackle for loss. But he's had a few this year. A sack already for Ridgel. Hit the quarterback a couple times and a whole bag of tackles to go with that. Six minutes left in the third. Second and 15. Craig gives it off. End around. Close side. Fletcher cuts back towards the center of the field, and he's dragged down. We've got him right near the 25, the 23-yard line. So a short yardage situation. The line to gain is the 26. Ball's on the 27. Five and a half left to play in this third quarter. Make it third and about two. From the 27. Put down. Stephen Craig. Calls the up back to motion across. Lewis Morris has the deep tailback behind him. There's the give to Morris, and he's flipped end over end, but he moves the chains. Okay, first and 10, Reinhardt on a five yard gain. Ball goes down to the 22 yard line of Bluefield University's Rams. Lewis Morris will come out after moving the chains. What a big day for Morris. Three touchdowns this afternoon. It's cold and rainy, but they're all fired up. Couple of personnel changes. Some unusual faces on the field for Reinhardt. Eagles have three split out wide. Tailback is standing alongside Stephen Craig. Craig fakes the give to Bernie. Check down pass is caught by Sullivan inside the 10, and he's trapped at the five. First and goal, Reinhardt Eagles. Great play. Navari Sullivan shakes the defensive back, gets a hold of the football. He's tackled down by Wolf, but it's too late. By the time Logan and Wolf reach him, it's first and goal, Eagles. First and goal from the five-yard box. They lead 56-14. Four minutes left in this third quarter. Bernie and Craig in the backfield. Solomon, the interior receiver on the far side on first and goal. Craig wipes his hands. It's from the five-yard line this time. Bernie. Trapped initially, trying to keep his legs moving as he goes down. Short gain. Inches the Eagles closer to the goal line. The carry is Marcus Bernie. We'll get on the play. Bernie's had some big time plays this Deep year. Sophomore from Claxton, Georgia. Played for Habersham Central. We've got a player down. They're going to check on him, and as they do, we'll take a break. Hopefully he's all right. College football on the Southeast Sports Network. We'll be back in just a moment in Wallaska, Georgia. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Waleska, Georgia. Injury timeout down on the field. 56-14, 3-17 left to play in the third quarter. Reinhardt Eagles up big and threatening to extend that lead. 
second and goal from inside of the five, down between the three and the four. Athletic staff will clear the field. Now it's second and goal from inside the five. Solomon's in motion. Stephen Craig fakes the give and he keeps it himself. Touchdown, Reinhardt University Eagles. They lead 62 14 with 304 left to play in this third quarter. Now for the point after try. Snap is good, hold is good. Point after try is up away. This one is through. 63-14, we'll be back with more college football in just a moment. Welcome back to Waleska. 63-14, a big time lead for the Eagles of Reinhardt University. Three minutes left to play in this third quarter. Reinhardt is just looking to finish up business here. Rams are looking for a miracle. Just outside of the NAIA top 25, if the polls extended beyond 25 spots, they would be the 26th. Fielded on the 20. Return man, nice space, but he's forced out. Had something going for a moment. He got across the 30 and goes out of play on the far sideline. First and 10, Bluefield Rams will take over with the football. Stephen Craig on that last drive got the rush touchdown, puts the Eagles of Reinhardt at 569 total yards of offense. In contrast, the Rams 142 yards of offense today. From the 34, check down pass close side, receiver throws the stiff arm and is trapped at the 40. A nice gain, six, maybe seven yards. Catch and run by Christian Mack. Nathan Herstich rushes back to the line. Five receivers on the field for Herstich in the offensive bluefield. Second and a long two, maybe three. Herstich, far side, Monroe drops it. Third down. Third down and short, Herstitch. Wants to throw, he's gonna run with it. Close side and he'll move the chains as he gets over the 45. That's an important one. First third down conversion of the day. They're one for nine in that situation now as they move the chains. Two minutes left in this third quarter.
First and 10 for Herstich. Pressure is coming. He's trying to escape. And a block there in the backfield. This one is roped close side for Ebron. It goes through his hands and it's third down. I like the look. Zuriel was open, just couldn't hang on to the ball, and Herstich able to keep that play alive for a long time there on first and 10. So from their own 46-yard line, second and 10 for the Rams. Second and 10 from the 46. Herstich flips the ball, rolling. Ropes this down the field and it's caught over the 40. First and 10 again, this time a 15 yard gain. Gage Chambers, the senior, picks up the first down. 90 seconds to play in this third quarter. Bluefield back to the line quickly. And on first and 10 for the Rams, the flag right away. Herstich trying to get the snap off. Far side, Monroe looks like he might have been able to move the chains as a flag comes in late. Herstich goes to Monroe and he goes to work with his legs. That'll move the chains and then some. They give him a great spot at the 25. But first, the penalty. Personal foul, face mask, defense number two, half the distance to the goal, and an automatic first down. First and 10, Bluefield, they'll take advantage of that. First at the half. And Reinhardt's Eagles will take a timeout as well at the end of that. So as they take a timeout, we will too. We'll take a break and be back with more college football in just a moment on the Southeast Sports Network. Welcome back to Ken Whitefield University Stadium. Home of the Reinhardt Eagles, and they lead big over the Rams of Bluefield. 53 seconds left in the third quarter. First and 10 now for Bluefield following a slew of penalties. Herstich rolling close side. Check down over the middle. It's caught. Touchdown, Rams. Nice throw and catch. Nice score there for Gray. Rams get one back. 20 to and 63 for the Eagles. Now for the point after try. Reinhardt's just been so good. Snap is good. Hold is good. This one is blocked. Swatted back and away. And it'll roll off of the field. Big man, big play. Senior from Butler, Georgia, Rashad Wanham. Keeps the score line where it is. We'll take another break and be back with more college football in just a moment. Don't go anywhere.
63-20, Eagles of Reinhardt out in front on top of the Rams of Bluefield. Thanks for being with us today in Waleska, Georgia for college football on the Southeast Sports Network. Gabriel Shry here with you. And the Rams will kick it back to the Eagles as we enter our final quarter in just a few seconds on Ken Whitefield. What a great game today for these two. Couple of revenge touchdowns for the Rams. They would love to find a way to claw back into this and make it a game, but it's probably just a bit too late. Big kick, this one sails down the field and is fielded by Stevens inside of the five. His return across the 20, now the 30. He's got a lot of room at the 40 across the midfield. Stripe and forced out of play, just shy of the 40 yard line of the Rams. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. Gage Stevens, a big return. That's not unusual. He's had a big year on special teams, returning the ball. Had a touchdown against Faulkner in their first game of the season here, a Thursday night edition. They'll take over just 42 yards from the end zone with some final words of encouragement from head coach James Miller. First and 10, Reinhardt Eagles. There's the handoff far side by Craig, and he's rolling as he gets quite a bit of yardage down there for eight yards. All the way up to the 33-yard line, second and short now for Reinhardt. Second and one from the 33. Chris Barnes, the freshman, standing alongside Craig. Three options at receiver. It's Barnes again. This time he's trapped and dropped maybe for a loss. It makes the third and short. And as the quarter expires, we've got a player down on the field. They're going to check on him. We're going to go to the fourth quarter. Don't go anywhere. More action in just a moment on the Southeast Sports Network. We'll have it all. Welcome back. We've reached the final quarter of action in Waleska, Georgia, between the Eagles of Reinhardt University and the Rams of Bluefield. Thanks for being with us this afternoon on the Southeast Sports Network. I'm Gabriel Shry. Third and short, Stephen Craig in the offense of the Eagles. Craig hands it off in trouble in the backfield and tackled down. Barnes can't escape the defensive end. And some late stage action here. A little bit of pushing and shoving and the immediate flag. Nice play by the defensive end, overshadowed by the flag. The senior Quincy Robinson from Wilmington, North Carolina, breaks into the backfield, makes a tackle for a loss, makes a fourth and medium. And they're trying to sort out the chippiness here between these two teams. So the penalty's offset. Fourth and six for the Eagles. At the blue field. Brings up fourth and six. Fourth and 
I think the ref left his crowd mic on there by mistake for a second. Reinhardt's offense, it's fourth and five. They stay out there. Here comes Robinson. Craig, long ball, close side. Clark catches it. Touchdown, Reinhardt. They extend their lead 69 20. That's unreal. Let's, let's sneak another look at that one. Here's a look back at the touchdown pass. You can see Craig right there climbs the pocket. Tosses a close side, and Jakari Clark finds the end zone for Reinhardt University. It's 69 to 20, just 30 seconds into this final quarter. Now for the point after try. Colin Fletcher on the hold. Snap is good. Hold is good. PAT, this one sails up away, and it's through the uprights. 70 to 20, 14 and a half left to play. We'll be back in Waleska. Welcome back to Alaska, Georgia. Big lead for the Eagles of Reinhardt. 30 seconds into this final quarter. It's 70 to 20, out in front by 50. In a top ranked matchup between these two teams. No traction for Bluefield on Ken Whitefield. Reinhardt will cook it. Back to the Rams. Big kick delivered. He loses it. Football still on the turf, and the Rams are able to cover it just in time as Reinhardt gets back there and brings the heat. So that's where Bluefield will take over and start this drive. First and 10, deep inside of their own territory. Nathan Herstich from St. Cloud, Florida, leads the offense onto the field. One receiver on the close side is Ebron. Quick snap, check down pass far side, caught. Just before it hits the turf, Monroe can't escape the defensive back because he's forced out of play. Makes it second and medium. Nice catch and run by Monroe. Second, and it looks like about three. Pick up a eight yard, second and two from the 26 yard line. Second down. Rams five options at receiver for Herstitch. Looks to the far sideline. Now he wants to throw that way. This one is caught just along the edge of the field. Right near the 35-yard line. Nice little catch by Gage Chambers, the senior from Elizabethtown, Tennessee. 
Bluefield moves the chains and makes it first and 10 from the 35 at their own side of the field. And the NAIA playoffs are looming. Reinhardt appears to have certainly punched their ticket. And an emphatic showing here in the final week of the regular season. This one is forked close side and just sails wide of the hands of Jules Gray. Second and 10 now. Bluefield Rams tail back in on this set. Herstich wants to throw it. Long ball sails incomplete again as the receiver comes together with a defensive back. Third and 10 now for Bluefield University. Third and 10 from the 35. Thirteen seventeen left to play in this final quarter. Five receivers out wide for Herstich. Four on the close side, Monroe alone on the back. Check down to Monroe on the slant, and he'll move the chains as he gets over the 45. Forward progress to their own 46-yard line, first and 10 Bluefield. To the 46-yard line. From the 46 yard line, it's first and 10 for the Rams of Bluefield. Very similar look on this first and 10. Four receivers on the close side, Monroe alone, and that same slant. Oh, he's got the chains and more. Couldn't have fade the last defender as he's tripped up across the 35. They'll mark him at the 33 of the Eagles. 20 plus yards. Knocking on the door of the red zone on the 30. It's a 50 point game, 70 to 20. Reinhardt Eagles lead. 12 minutes left to play. From the 33-yard line, here's that same look. Herstich is looking at Monroe. Herstich drops back in the shotgun, this time over the middle. It's picked. Reinhardt, lots of room at the 30. He takes a shot and is tackled down at the 35 of the Eagles. He'll definitely take that, and he is swarmed in celebration with his teammates. Gabe Helton, the freshman from Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. Third interception of the season for him. That's a big time play. First and 10 now for Reinhardt and a, a quick reminder to be sure to be with us. Later on today, Follow us on social media at SCSN Sports. Be with us this afternoon for college basketball as well. Reinhardt University playing host to Tennessee Wesley, and we'll have all the action on SCSN. Here's the handoff, close side, and across the 40-yard line. He goes out. A lot going on on that play right there. Rumble down towards the close sideline. Nice little gain of about four yards, maybe five for Williams. Second down and medium, 11.20 left to play. Second down, here's the handoff, and trouble, nowhere to go. Third down and long, maybe eight yards needed. Great wave to ball carry. Back to the 39 yard line. Up, 
Stephen Craig in the shotgun, shouting out to his offense. Craig through his cadence. He hands it off, and a lot of room for the tailback, Williams, who bowls over a defender and is tackled down, making a third and one on their own 46-yard line. Looks like Reinhardt's going to go ahead and punt this away on fourth down here. Excuse me, I did say third and one, it's fourth. Now it's already back. Punt for the Eagles. Back deep number eight, Katie Pernazzi. Snap back to Hardy. Punter a beautiful strike for the Eagles. Fielded back inside of the 20. Her turn man will just step out there. 9.33. We'll have to play in this one between the Eagles and the Rams of Bluefield. Great college football action today. This one has really been all Eagles. They've done everything right. 620 total yards of offense. 239 for the Rams, so they are coming up on their average. 70 to 20, a 50 point game. It's really just un been unbelievable. They pulled Taylor Jackson quite a while ago. Stephen Craig, since coming into the game, from two for two, 54 yards, a touchdown. Nathan Hurstich today, 20 for 44, 233 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. Four options at receiver, a tailback alongside Nathan. Ebron, the lone receiver on the close side. Here's the handoff, and not a lot of room as he runs down one defender. Drag down a short gain, if any. Caden Slamp, a senior from St. Augustine. Seventh carry of the season. He's up to 36 total carries this year, 10 receptions. Here's a pass far side to Lamp, and he evades one defender as he steps out. Third down and long now. Clock will stop as he steps off the field. We have an injury timeout on the field. Hopefully he's all right. And so as they check on him, we're going to take a break. More college football in just a moment on SESN. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Ken White Field, University Stadium on the campus of Reinhardt University. Southeast Sports Network, I'm Gabriel Shry. Less than nine minutes to play, 8.53 on the clock here in Waleska in a 50-point game, 70-20. to 20. Here's the snap, far side. He's got the chains and more at the 35, trying to battle away from the defensive back, and he's tackled first and 10 Rams. Nice play, nice gain. Rams hurry back to the line. Reinhardt making some changes. Yeah, players slow to rise on the close side again. Hopefully he's all right. We'll keep it here this time. Will they check on him? 
Well, I reminded you about our game later today, but I didn't mention that you should connect with us on social media. I would love for you to follow along with the Southeast Sports Network at SCSN Sports. You can see from inside of the Eagle right there, I've got all the action today. Thanks for being with us. And Bluefield back onto the field. They'll get back to work offensively. 8.20 left to play. Clock running. Here's the snap. Danger for her stitch. Tosses this to the far side. Receiver was coming back for the ball, but just couldn't get to it in time. Looking for Gage Chambers. Second down and 10 now from the 35 yard line of their own side of the field, Bluefield. Five receivers for her stitch. This one right over the middle and just beyond the reach of Christian Mack, his intended target. Couldn't quite get hooked up. Reinhardt making a couple of changes up front. Big guy comes out for big guy. The illegal receiver downfield. Called on the Rams. Love to replay second down as they take a five yard penalty. Second and 15 from the 30-yard line. Bluefield, four out wide. One man isolated on the far side. Christian Mack calling for the football. Herstitch is in trouble, staying alive from the far sideline. Tosses this up the field, and it pops out as he's hit. Looking for Mack right on the sideline. I don't think he got his toes in either, even if he had hung on to the ball. That goes incomplete either way. Third and long now, 15 to go for Bluefield. Two hundred and fifty-six total yards today for the Rams of Bluefield. Their offense has started to hum in the second half. Herstitch now 22 for 48, passing the ball, 249 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. Favorite target today is Ben Monroe, nine catches, 124 yards. He was looking for Christian Mack on that last play, would have been his long catch of the day. He's got two for seven. This is Herstitch on third and 15. Lots of time in the pocket. Roped over the middle and caught by the big man. He's down near the midfield stripe. That'll move the chains, and they're going to mark him right on the big line. First and ten. Nice catch and run. First catch of the day. For Ebron, the junior. Ninth catch of the season. Close side, lots of room for Mack, who rolls down to the 37-yard line and again moves the chains on a 13-yard gain. First and 10, Bluefield Rams. 6.55 left to play in this final quarter in a 50-point ball game. They flipped his favorite formation. Now he's gonna throw the long bomb to the far side. Wow, he caught it. Unbelievable. First and goal, Bluefield. Stamp that on the highlight reel. Gray somehow able to hang on to the football. I don't know if we have time to look at that or not. We can try. We can cheat. Caught that right on the far sideline, able to hang on to it. Now we're back here in real time. First and goal. First and goal. The ball's right near the five-yard line. They've flipped that same formation. 
Herstich is looking to the close side, over the middle, and it's caught for the touchdown. Bluefield Rams get another one back. Six minutes, six seconds left to play. They'll certainly take that and mark it up for the day. Christian Mack, the redshirt freshman from South Boston, Virginia, with a catch for the score over the middle. He was wide open. Now for the point after try. Riley Stubbs, the junior from Harrisburg, North Carolina. Snap is good, hold is good. PAT up away and through. 70-27, all the Eagles in Alaska, Georgia. We'll take a break and be right back with more college football. Welcome back to Alaska, Georgia, live. Ken Whitefield, Reinhardt University, and they lead big 70-27 to over the Rams of Bluefield. Thank you for being with us this afternoon, college football on the Southeast Sports Network. I'm Gabriel Shrine. We've reached the late stages of what's been a great game of football. Kickoff, return man, fields this on the 10, across the 20, midfield stripe coming up for him, and he gets pushed out just shy of it on the 45. First and 10, Eagles will take over with less than six to play. Reinhardt's offense has been a little better than efficient. And Curtis on the return. And route to hundreds and hundreds of yards, 620 total yards, 369 passing yards. Stephen Craig, 2 for 4 for 55 yards and a touchdown. Taylor Jackson, 14 for 21, 315, three touchdowns. First and 10. There's the handoff on the end around, and he gets about four yards. Very good. Rick Moore. 49 yard line. Second down and seven for Reinhardt. Five and a half left to play in this final quarter. There's the handoff, tailback, pulls his way forward across the 45 to move the chains. First and 10, Eagles down to the 43 yard line. Man in motion up front. Here's the snap on first and ten. Again, the give, this time right side behind the right tackle. Nice gain, five yards for Reinhardt's Eagles. Second and medium, 440 left to play. It's a 43-point game. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the playoffs shake out. If Bluefield's Rams still get the bid and make it into the NAIA playoff. Reinhardt, will they now have a bye week because of this big win? Well, that and more we'll find out throughout the week. Be sure to follow the teams, whether you're a Bluefield fan or a Reinhardt fan, on social media. Nice carry here. He keeps it churning and burning down into the red zone. 
all the way to the 15-yard line. First and 10, Reinhardt. We've got a player slow to rise on the back end, shake it up. Hopefully he's all right. They're going to check on him. And while they do, we'll take a break and be back with more college football in just a moment. Welcome back to Alaska. First and 10. Into the red zone. Here's the Eagles. There's the give. Right up the gut. Rolls over one defender and stumbles his way down inside of the 10. Second and short. Great carry again by the true freshman. We've seen a little bit of him today. Freshman from Decatur, Georgia. Played in Arabia Mountain. It's Christopher Barnes. Barnes had three carries last time out as well for Reinhardt. On the He's touched the ball almost 15 Second times this year. Three options at receiver for the Eagles. Quarterback from the shotgun under three to play. There's the handoff to Barnes. He runs the spin move and has swarmed five defenders on top of him. That was real close to the line to gain. It would have made it first and goal if he had moved it. So now it'll be third and short. Football's down to the seven-yard line. Reggie Robinson on the tackle number 12. No gain on the play. 32. From the eight. From the shotgun, running through his cadence. Two seconds on the play clock. One, he gets the snap off. Here's the handoff. Close side, runs the down the point. linebacker. The six yard he line. gets down to the six yard line, and that should make it first and goal. Also Boy, it might be fourth and inches, is it? Fourth and inches, less than two to play. Reinhardt's going to go ahead and go for it. They're two plays and some change away from ending this game. One first down and two plays, and they can end it. They just run the clock all the way down. If you couldn't hear the official, that's a delay of game. So it remains fourth down, but now Reinhardt needs five yards to move the chains. 81 seconds left to play. Here's the snap, handoff, left side, rolling over one defender and stays on his feet for a bit. But it'll be a turnover on downs. And we'll see the offense of Bluefield one more time. Here in Molesca, 119 left to play, 70-27 Reinhardt. Have possession of the ball, first and ten. Rugby first and ten. First and ten, Bluefield Rams. Nathan Herstich stays on the sideline. The senior from Reedville, Virginia. Mason Adams into the game. And delay of game on the Rams. First 
first and 15. From their own six yard line. He's going to keep it right up the middle. Has a lot of room. Pinballs off one defender and rolls down. He gets it back to a pretty respectable situation for the Rams, second and medium. Gain of about 11 yards. Less than one to play. Bluefield taking their time, getting back to the line. Looks like they're just going to wrap this up themselves. Four out wide, two on either side for the quarterback who passes in on a check down to the far sideline. That'll move the chains, first and 10 Bluefield. 43 seconds left to play. First and 10, 35 seconds left. Nice little fake, hands it off to the tailback who gets a gain of about seven yards. Second and short. A 43-point win, barring any late touchdowns or miracles here in the books today for Reinhardt University. Unbelievable performance out of the offense of the Eagles. Their defense creating turnovers and really just a hot start was what sparked this big win for Reinhardt. Long ball for Mason goes incomplete and with 6.1 seconds left, the clock will stop. Time for one final play for the Rams of Bluefield. Playoff implications were on the line all day long. It will be interesting to see how this affects both of these teams. Rams still in. Does Reinhardt get a bye in the first round of the playoffs? I can't tell you that. Obviously, the biggest impact on that is how other teams perform today and who wins, who loses, what things look like around the country. Keep an eye on your scoreboards. Congratulations to the Eagles of Reinhardt University who rise to 8-2 and two on the season. And a great season by the Rams. 5-5, five and five, they'll finish the regular season. A 70-27 to 27 win in favor of Reinhardt University. Thanks for being with us today on the Southeast Sports Network. Be sure to subscribe and follow along. We'll have men's basketball this afternoon at 5 p.m. tip here on the campus of Reinhardt University. Have a wonderful afternoon. At the Salvation Army, a meal isn't just a meal. It's fuel for imagination, determination, and dreams. It's energy to be role models, change makers, and to just be kids. With your gift, a full meal means a full heart, a full night's sleep, and a future full of possibilities. At the Salvation Army, a shelter isn't just a place to rest. It's a chance to shed layers, let loose, and finally let it go. With your gift, a warm bed is just the beginning. It's the first night of a new day. When our homeless neighbors feel safe enough to close their eyes, they can see the way forward.
in life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. My character, Shazam, knows all about growing up in a family full of teenage superheroes. They're bold. Where's everyone going? To fight crime. Okay. Adventurous. Shazam! There's never a dull moment. And no matter what happens, they'll always have your back. All they need is a place to grow and be themselves. And the best part is, you don't have to be a superhero to adopt a teen. Learn more about adopting a teen from foster care. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. You can't imagine the reward. vacation is now playing in Tennessee. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you prevent wildfires. Dude, I've got this. I've been camping since I was five years old. But I am a camping influencer. You know what, I'll bet you five bucks. Okay. Assistant Smokey, what is the best way to put out a campfire? Mm -hmm. To put out a campfire, drown with water, stir, drown again, then make sure the fire is out cold by feeling with the back of your hand. Wait, really? I'll take the five bucks. Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's broadcast. This broadcast is a product of Shrine Media, LLC. Unauthorized use, sale, or redistribution of this media in any form is strictly prohibited without the express written consent of Shrine Media. Radio and television mediums are encouraged to reach out. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the game. Thank you. 